Okay, in this video we're going to discuss a little bit about the difference between series and parallel circuits. You've seen in other videos the rules and you've seen how to solve the problems. This one is just to give you kind of a conceptual view as to how these work and why the rules make some sense. So let's start with our basic definition. Series, one path for our little electrons to flow through the circuit parallel connection provides multiple paths for our little buddy electrons. Okay, could be two paths, could be up to 20, it doesn't matter. Parallel in general just means more than one path for the electrons. So let's think of it in terms of the rules first. In series, The total resistance is a combination of the individuals, but in parallel, one over the total resistance is the combination, oops, of the individual resistances. And what this ends up showing us is that as you add more things in series, the resistance gets bigger. If you put multiple things in parallel then, the resistance actually goes down. So let's go through the other rules and I'm going to give you a good analogy I think for trying to understand these differences. In series the current flowing through the circuit is the same everywhere whereas in parallel the current adds up to equal the total. So it has to split. It, go, it either goes through one path or the other, but not both. In series, the voltage is a combination of the individual voltages measured across each resistor or component. In, in parallel, I'm sorry, the voltage is the same across each path. Okay, here's a good way of thinking series versus parallel. Okay, imagine you and a couple of your friends were, you're hanging out in Hawaii, which is a great place, beautiful place, and they have lots of waterfalls in Hawaii. And imagine there were, you had a couple different ways for getting from the top of a waterfall down back to the ground. Now, in a series circuit, Uh, let's say there was this, you could either, you had the option, you could either go down the waterfalls kind of three at a time, a couple at a time, or you could go down them all at once. So a series circuit is like you and your buddies, your friends, you're happy because you're in Hawaii. Yay, Hawaii. Okay, and in series you decide to go down the waterfalls together. So you pick a couple smaller ones and you jump down together and then you land on the next level you're happy you're hanging out in Hawaii and then you jump down the next one and you land on the ground together Well, there's another way you could have gotten to the bottom. You could have actually found a tall waterfall. So these are like two small jumps. Let's eh, waterfall jumps, same same idea. Whatever you want to picture. And you could have actually split up and gone off different waterfalls but done it at the same time. So you didn't have to stick together, right? You might have split up and jumped all at once. So in a sense here, the first example, you guys were working in series. You stayed together the whole time. So the t each one of you represents a little like an electron, right? In in a series circuit, the current's the same. So wherever I measured you guys, you were always together. So your, your current never split up. 
your voltage is like the energy you lost in each step. So you lost a little bit of energy in the first step and you lost a little bit of energy in the second step. So your individual voltages kind of would add up together. Your current is all the same. And because you're together, you kind of moved a little slower. So you were a little less effective. So your resistance is kind of your, to the fact that you weren't kind of spread out individually, you're kind of stuck together. So your resistance kind of bogged down your travel as you went down the waterfall. Whereas the second one, you guys made a parallel leap, so to speak, where you split up individually. So your current was separate, right? You guys each were an electron. So it's like you, you spread out from each other. So your resistance went down because now you each have your own room to work, right? So your resistance went down, your current got split, and then you jumped off the waterfall at the same time. Right? So your voltage, your energy, you went from high energy to low energy all at once. So here your voltage is the same, your current is split, your resistance is less. Here your current's the same, you're dropping a little each time, and your resistance is a little higher. So using the analogy of the waterfall, that's a good way to kind of picture the difference between how series, series circuits work where there's one path and how parallel circuits work where there's multiple paths.